Hi, my name is Steven Rittersporn. I work over at Site 223M in Harlem, and I am the visual arts instructor over there. This video will go into why you might want to submit and audition with your portfolio at LaGuardia School of the Arts. This will also cover other schools where those standards might apply. Uh, what are some of the advantages? <clears throat> well, if you're into art the way I am, you get to take more art classes. You get to meet other like-minded creative people. You'll be able to set up a portfolio maybe for an art college. Um, also, even if you don't go into art later on, you'll have a rigorous academic curriculum to fall back on and that will enable you to go to the college that you might choose. Also LaGuardia has a Japanese language class. They also have a gymnastics team. They have equipment there. They have crash mats. They have a high bar. They have rings. They have a pummel horse. So if you're into that, that might be a consideration to go along with your art interest. And then also, uh, you might develop some potential career possibilities. And remember, when you submit a portfolio, even with their guidelines, that portfolio should represent your artistic strengths. Okay, this is a sample portfolio that was submitted about five years ago. And you should get some indication of what might be expected. And let's show another piece. Okay, let's get a little straighter. Keep going. Okay, I want to get to... If you notice, these pieces are matted. And then in the lower right hand, there's the name of the student, the school they come from, and that's good for your portfolio. Most of this is done in black and white, ink and pencil. Um, why don't you show that self-portrait? Okay, a self-portrait is required. I believe uh, they want it, yours to be totally in pencil this time. And this is a still life from observation. That is a French horn. And here's a painting.
Other high schools besides LaGuardia School of the Arts are Art and Design, Frank Sinatra School of the Arts, High School of Fashion Industries, and Gramercy Arts High School. Make sure you check out their respective websites so that you can gear your portfolio towards their requirements. I believe their requirements are pretty similar to that of LaGuardia, but it's always good to double check. Also, if you are matting your work, you're gonna need some tools, some X-Acto knife, a triangle, and a T-square. T-square and a triangle, make sure that your work is perpendicular. So when you frame your work, it will look nice and professional. And make sure you put a label on it, your name, school, uh, maybe even the name of the piece, the medium. And that should take care of that pretty much. Um, also, have a wide variety of work. I recommend that you set a certain amount of time each week for your artwork. Time goes by very fast, and before you know it, uh, they want a portfolio. And you may be the most talented artist out there, but if you don't have a body of work that reflects your artistic strengths, uh, someone else who might not be as talented as you might get, get into that, those schools. So it takes a little bit of work and it takes a lot of discipline. Uh, I recommend doing at least one drawing a week. And that's 52 weeks. And you have 52 drawings by the end of the year. And then you can just pick out what you feel are the best. Also, maybe you can get a second opinion from a friend, a relative, see what works for them. But most of all, you should be able to say that work is what reflects your artistic strength. So good luck, and I hope you guys make it to your respective art high schools. Um, perhaps I'll be coming around from site to site to help you guys out. But in the meantime, I will look at some of the videos I have listed with this video to help you get a better idea of what you should do for your portfolio. So part of the requirements for LaGuardia School of the Arts is you'll have to either submit a three minute video about yourself, along with three or four pieces. And you'll mention what medium it was done in, why you created this, who are your influences. And if you're not gonna do that, you'll have to um, write a 500 word piece about yourself, your artwork, and then you'll have to do a few other things as well. Uh, you'll have to take pictures of your artwork and we want natural uh, light and you'll need to have that done either by your smartphone or a digital camera because you're gonna have to submit this work through myschools.nyc.